Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Avs looked unbeatable game two. Andre Vasilevsky gave up the most goals he's ever yeah. given up in his career. Uh, but these are the two-time reigning champs down 2-0. Can the Lightning still win the cup? PK. Yeah, listen, I, I think that this series so far for the Tampa Bay Lightning has, has been a start that they want to forget. And they're going to park that immediately. Game three, pivotal game. Going back home, they were in this situation against the Rangers, and they found a way to get it done. Not only get it done in game three, they got it done the next three games after that, winning four straight. So Tampa Bay's got championship pedigree. This is a team that knows how to win. This is the biggest game of the year for them. They have to, have to get their forecheck going. If they don't get their forecheck going, Colorado's going to break out of their zone. They're going to be looking at four or five guys all night coming out on the attack, and Colorado's been on an all-out attack all year, all season long. It's a fast team, and for the first time in a long time, Tampa Bay looks slow. They got to get going. Tonight needs to be their fastest game of the playoffs. Well, a couple of things. Number one, I want to ask a very, very important question. First, the first things first. I am right when I say the puck is black. Is that it correct? Is I mean, black. It, it, it is black. Right? I didn't get that wrong, did I? I just want to make sure. I, I just want to make sure I got that right because I'll be damned if I know anything about hockey. But I want you to ask me this question, okay? Answer me this question. How the hell are they losing seven to nothing in game two? Is it because they're just slow? I mean, I'm looking at the Lightning. Last time I checked, they won like ten series in a row. They were reigning two-time champions, and all of of a sudden they find themselves in an 0-2 hole to the avalanche? I mean, Look, what the hell's going on? Stephen A. Smith, they're still Stanley Cup champions, right? And until – I think this series hasn't started until the home team loses, right? Until the home team loses a game, and that's the way this playoffs has been, right? So Tampa Bay is still very much in this series. How do they lose 7-0? Well, I think that in the game – once Colorado got up 3 4 nothing, it's very difficult in hockey to score five goals, especially against a team that's only lost two games this postseason. So I think with Tampa Bay, you know, the energy drops a little bit. That compete level drops a little bit. They know that they have to take care of business at home. They, they didn't take care of business on the road. That's okay. They got two opportunities to take care of business. They got to take care of business tonight. It starts tonight. It's a pivotal game. I, I think they got to scrap the first two games. I won't well, look too much into the score. Steven, I, I know you're looking at it. You're saying 7 nothing. That's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I think that's what they need. I think that's what they need. But, but wait a minute now. Wait a minute Colorado's now. First of, all, first, first of all, stop telling the American public it don't start at tell and so you lose at home. They down 2-0. They lose tonight. It's over. They 3-0. Ain't nobody coming back from a 3-0 deficit. So let's understand that. I mean, they, they, they don't start tonight. It finishes tonight if they lose, number one. Number two, what kind of a road team are the Avalanche? Listen, for, I, I, they've been unbelievable on the road. And I'm going to oh, tell you why. Up. I'm going to tell you why they've been unbelievable on the road. Okay. It's their team speed. I talked about it earlier in the Rangers-Pittsburgh series. I talked about Rangers' speed and their quickness and their youth. Well, Colorado Avalanche, Tampa Bay don't have to look far to look at a team that looked like them when they won their first Stanley Cup. Colorado's been built for this moment. Team speed all up and down their lineup. They went and acquired some veterans in Helm, Cogliano, and these guys that are fast on their fourth line. The Rangers didn't have that speed. Colorado has that speed. You so in terms of – hold on. In terms of matchups on the road, Colorado, they would love to get their matchups, but because of their speed up and down their lineup, they're going to be tough to handle all four lines. And I don't think Tampa's seen a team like this in a long time. But if Vasilevsky – OK, and Molly had mentioned it before. If Vasilevsky can find his game, he got lost a little bit in the first two games. If he can find his game, this is the best goaltender in the world. If he can steal one and steal game three, it's a different series. All right, let me let me let me just before I, before we move on from this particular subject. I did I, talk I, about I, your Rangers. I, I, I did. I, yeah, I don't know why you brought up New York. I don't know why you would do that, but that's okay. And before we even go any further, I mean, before we end this subject, let me be very very clear. Okay, I, I love the fact that we're doing that hockey, but <laughs> I, I gotta ask you this. I mean, it's just it's, it's just an off the wall question. It, it, it's June, man. And it's Florida. What the hell is a hockey team doing in Florida? It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. Hey, I mean, it's warm. Hey, the damn it, ice is going to melt. What the hell is going on? If I mean, why honest, do you have a team there? Hold, hold on. Hold on a second. Stephen, have you ever been to a game in Tampa Bay? Have you ever been no. to a playoff game down there? Well, I played no. in Tampa during June, 
Okay, I've played in Tampa. I've been down there. I've seen the games. It's one of the best places to watch it. They love hockey down there. It's fun. We actually had Charles Barkley come in for one of the games. John Cooper, I know, is friends with, that with Charles. That probably jinxed you. What's that? That probably jinxed you, the fact that you brought Charles Barkley. That probably jinxed you. I, think I mean, we I'm just saying I think we actually ended up winning that series against Tampa when Charles came. But that's a whole nother thing. Hockey down in Tampa is fun. It's great to go watch the game. It continues to grow. And this is, this is a city that's won championships, right? They're known for championships. I know not known maybe for hockey as far as you're concerned, but yeah. the Cavalier, Marty St. Louis won a cup. And right. they're looking at potentially winning a third one right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I think the Avalanche wins this in five. I think that oh, the Tampa I gets one. I'm not saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right Stephen now. A, Wait. come on. Was it Stephen five? A, you can't five. say that. You can't uh, say that. I can say that. I just did. No, 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 no. The series Avalanche hasn't five. started until the home team Avalanche loses. Is, Avalanche in five. Tonight is a big game, pivotal game. And if Tampa Bay can slow down Colorado's defense. Another thing I want to talk about. Kale McCarr right now, up for the Norris Trophy. A lot of people picking him to win it. Roman Yossi had a great year. Shout out to my old teammate, Roman Yossi. If he wins the Norris Trophy, I also think that people got to start talking about him being one of the best players, if not the best player in the league right now, the way he's playing. And if, if Tampa's going to have any chance, they got to stop him, Byram, they got to stop Manson. All these defense that Colorado have that are running shop. They're just they're jumping out of the zone. They're leading the attack. They got to get on the forecheck and punish these guys. Stephen A., that's the key to the game. Get in on the four check, punish Tampa's, punish Colorado's D, slow them down. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.